Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Will. Hope y'all doing well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some clips with you all. Also, taking the time to talk about some of the challenges that I've seen throughout social media and YouTube from those who desire to live outside of the United States, but they're faced with challenges. And to also possibly give a solution for each of the challenges, you know. Now we have the elections right around the corner, the 2024 elections right around the corner. And the tension is in the air from what we see and from what we heard also. And now there's a bunch of people who are desiring to leave the United States, you know, considering it now. Many people who didn't consider it before definitely are considering it now. And, uh, but unfortunately, many people are faced with challenges. And I'm just going to explain three challenges that I've seen throughout social media that people are facing. And the main challenge is financial, financial slash career. Many people are working jobs that require them to stay in the United States and they can't work from home. They can't or they they can work from home, but they can't leave the state. So the so people are faced with challenges of like being able to provide for themselves if they if they were to leave. And some many people don't have enough savings in order to, you know, just pick up everything and leave, you know. Now, some countries do allow you to work. Like, like if you were to leave the country, you are allowed to work there. But you also have to, you know, apply for a specific visa. So mainly, I think many people don't want to give up their job and, they, you know, they're making good money so on and so forth. But at the same time, they have a desire to leave the country. Now, like I say, I don't want to give these you know, challenges without a, a possible solution. Now, one solution to this is possibly working like a customer service job online. Like I've heard of this, you know, you know, people left their careers because their career did not allow them to live outside the United States. So guess what they did? They, you know, they buckled down and say, yo, I'm going to work customer service. I'm not a fan of customer service, but you know, I'm going to do it. You know why? Because it gives me the opportunity to live outside the United States. Many people buckle down and say, yo, I'm going to teach some English. You know, same thing, you know, my wife and I uh, do sometimes, you know, teach English. Yo, you can make you some money. And, you know, like if you work for a company like italki, yo, you can set your own schedule. You can set your own prices. And remember, you don't have to, depending on the country, you don't have to set your price super high. You know, why? Because the country you're living in is probably low cost it can be low cost definitely lower than the united states so yeah many people you know resort to things that they really don't like doing in order to live outside the united states and yo know, I, I show total respect for that and uh i would say the next thing is courage many people don't have the courage you know or you know um they, they, they kind of have a little fear, you know, living outside the United States, just the thought of it, you know, within my family growing up, nobody, I never even heard nobody talking about leaving the United States, you know, that wasn't even a thing. Why? Because you usually hear the United States being the greatest country in the world. And when you hear that, it's like, dang, well, why should I go to any other country? You know what I mean? But so many people, you know, have that fear. They like, but now we're in an information age where you get all this information. You got YouTube, you know, so on and so forth. You can look at videos. You can see how other people are living and everything. And it's like, well, dang, you know, they, they, that seem all right, you know. You know, uh, Dominican Republic or, you know, Panama, that seemed pretty nice, you know, Thailand, you know. And so many people are faced with those challenges, you know, of living outside the country. But, you know, I think slowly but surely, since we're in the information age, people are like getting rid of that fear, you know. But at the same time, people are like faced with like, dang, I don't know the language. Now, learning the language is important, you know. Do you have to be like super fluent? I would say no, you know. But you, if you get some basic stuff down, yo, you'll be fine, you know. But uh, many people, you know, also look at the United States as their safe haven, you know, and that's. That's pretty dangerous in my eyes, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, if you're looking at the states as your safe haven, it's like, yo, it's, you know, when it comes to safety and thinking that other countries are unsafe, like, yes, yeah, it's, it's, don't get me wrong. They got challenges in every country. There's, there's violence in every country, you know, um, 
my family and I, we trust in the most high. Like we don't give credit to nothing, none of not ourselves or nothing. The most high has kept us. Being in his hands is our safe haven ultimately. So it's been a lot of prayer and his mercy and grace that been keeping us. So but yeah, courage and you know, fear of leaving a country, you know, uh, I would say that's the second thing. The last thing I would say is usually a family member that's keeping you know, an individual in the stage, you know, whether they have to take care of their grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, or they, even their child, you know, and, you know, I see that in social media, like, oh, I desire to leave the country, but, you know, I'm faced with this challenge, and, you know, I, I totally understand, I totally respect that, um, but a possible solution, I would say, and I, I want to say this with a lot of care, like, because I don't know everyone's case, so I'm very careful when I say this. Um, I have heard of individuals taking their mom with them, leaving the country, leaving the United States, you know, with their mom or their dad, you know, or, or their child who has, you know, special needs, you know, and uh, they, they end up getting the care that they need, you know, outside of the country. They do their due diligence and they do their research and so on and so forth. And whatever care, like medical care. Like a lot of times they go to the country and their medical care is way cheaper, you know, and way better if they have a, you know, better experience, you know. And um, so I, I, I have a friend up in Colombia. He set up a visa for his mom and he moved his mom out there with him. That joker said he is not moving back to the state. I thought that was pretty interesting. I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, y'all, uh, I just wanted to share those things with you. And just know, like, each country, no matter where you go, as long as we're on this earth, we're going to have challenges, we're going to have difficulties. But I pray everybody trust in the most high and, you know, walk with him above all things, you know. Um, and, yeah, I hope the people who desire to, you know, get out of the States get that opportunity, especially those within, the, you know, black community. Uh, I can only speak, you know, from the black community because... We never really, at least growing up in my community, like nobody really thought of it, you know, of moving outside of the country. Like that was never even a thought. So I hope people, you know, within the black community definitely get that opportunity. But yeah, this video is for everybody. Um, and just be aware of what is put in the news about specific countries. Like, you know, cause sometimes, you know, the United States only put out the bad stuff. So be careful with that. Love y'all. God bless y'all.